One thing that uh, causes problems sometimes is converting between units using conversion factors, or how do I go from one metric unit to another metric unit? And the first thing that you need to do is to look on page 20, and there is a table on page 20, and it has petra, tetra, giga, mega, kilo, deci, centa, milli, micro, nano, pico, femto, with the symbols for each and an equality for each, an example equality. You really do need to memorize the first two columns and the last column. Those are the ones you need to memorize. Now once you have these memorized, then we can go ahead and do some different sorts of problems where we convert from one to the next. And here is one right here. So we have how many milliliters in 12.6 liters? So what are we trying to do? We are trying to go from liters to milliliters and we're going to need to know what the conversion factor is to go from liters to milliliters. Well if we look back on our table we will see that there are two conversion factors for milli to our base unit liters and that's to say that there is 10 to the minus third liters equals a milliliter or we can say that there are 10 to the third milliliters equals one liter and it just depends on which one you use just depends on which one you remember they mathematically they mean exactly the same thing I generally prefer the ones that have the the positive exponent just out of personal preference and a lot of times that's the one that I remember so we want to go from 12.6 liters to milliliters we're going to pick the conversion factor that's going to work for us. Now remember we don't use the equality directly as it is we go ahead and write down a conversion factor that will work for us which has what we want on the top and what we want to cancel on the bottom so sure enough 10 to the third milliliters per liter and that equals 12.6 times 10 to the third milliliters and we want to get this in correct scientific notation so we would have 1.26 times 10 to the fourth milliliters now we could have entered this in directly in the calculator but we have to keep in mind that if we put this in the calculator directly we'll enter 12.6 times 1 EE or EXP depending on your calculator to the third okay and then we'll hit equals and we should get 1.26 times 10 to the fourth milliliters. Sometimes we want to know just how many of the big unit that we have in the small unit. Liters is the big unit, that's the small unit. So we want to go from milliliters to liters and so we want a conversion factor go from milliliters to liters and we've already determined that it is 1000 milliliters per liter and so we want to go 12.6 milliliters and we want the unit that we want to cancel on the bottom that's not the case here so we need to flip this guy over don't ever be afraid to flip them over so that's liters per 1000 milliliters and we put that in our calculator and we'll get 0 0.0126 liters milliliters canceled so you're left with liters which you can also write a scientific notation as times 10, 1, 2, minus 2, 1.26. And there you go. That's how you do liters in 12.6 milliliters. So far, not so bad, right? Those are more uh, along the lines of base units that we're already looking at on the table. Now we get into something more interesting. Neither one of these units here is a base unit. It is a prefix with a base unit, a prefix with the base unit. And this is where it gets more complicated is when you have this. And this is where conversion factors really come in handy because we want to go 456 milliliters to microliters. And I don't have a good way to go from milliliters to microliters, but I do know the relationship of milliliters to liters. And that is that there is 1000 milliliters equals one liter or you could say 10 to the third liters equals one liter that's the conversion so you find a conversion factor that includes the the prefix and the base unit there it is liters is the base unit milli is the prefix so now we have the microliters well microliters is 10 
to the sixth microliters, and that's a funny looking U, L microliters equals one liter. Okay, so we have two relationships right here that we can use to do this. You can, it's very difficult, no, hardly anybody remembers off the top of their head how to go directly from milliliters to microliters. This is the way to do it. Find the base unit for each one of these. So milliliters, one milliliter, a thousand milliliter equal a liter, and same thing with microliters, 10 to the six microliters equals liters. And now we have something common that we can track. So now we can go, um, Oh shit. Where the real trouble comes along is when you have a conversion from one set of units to another set of units and neither one of them is a base unit. A base unit being like kilograms or liters or grams and so you could say grams to micrograms or milliliters to liters. Well this one's different. This is this is microliters to and milliliters. So we're going from 456 milliliters to how many microliters we have. Neither one of those is a base unit. But what we can do is just realize that we need to find out the relationship between the unit that we have and the base unit for each one. And we know that from the table that we should have memorized. And so we'll start with microliters. How many microliters are in a liter? Well, it's 10 to the 6. So it's 1 times 10 to the 6 microliters is one liter. And we can write that out as a conversion factor of, of um, one times 10 to the six microliters per liter. That is a conversion factor. And same thing for milliliters. We know that there are 10, one times 10 to the third or 1,000 milliliters is one liter. And we can write our conversion factor there as one liter for every one times 10 to the third milliliters. And so we have two conversions. We have a way from going from milliliters to liters. And once we're in liters, we have a way of going from liters to microliters. And this is making your conversion using conversion factors for going from one set of measurements to another. And so here we go. So we say 456 milliliters we find the one that has milliliters to liters. We want liters because we're going to take liters to microliters. So we go one liter per one times 10 to the third milliliters. Cancel as we go. We're left with liters. And now we can go from liters to microliters. And that is one times 10 to the sixth microliters for every liter. Liters cancel. And we're left with microliters, which is the answer that we want. And we can actually put this in our calculator. And we go 456. We don't bother to times 1, and that's times 1. We find our EXP key, or our EE key, whatever is the case for your calculator. We go 1 times 1 EE or EXP to the 6th. Then we divide it by 1 E to the 3rd. And we get our answer, and I and my answer that I get is 456,000. There we go. 456,000, and of course we want that in scientific notation, and that would be 4.56 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Last unit is microliters, and there you go. So that's how many microliters are in 456 milliliters. The key being that we have to write down our relationships with the base unit and write them as conversion factors, and then it'll work out. Don't really try to go directly from milliliters to microliters if you can at all help it. Finally, for our last example, uh, how many centimeters are in 12.7 picometers? Okay, and once again, we have base units and we have prefixes for each one. So we need to write down the relationship we've won. So centimeters to meters would be 100 centimeters equals one meter. And we can write this down as 100 centimeters for every meter as our conversion factor. Picometers, you have to remember that a picometer is 10 to the minus 
twelfth meters and that equals one picometer or you could have said if you want to write if you don't want to write using negatives you could have said a meter is equal to one times ten to the twelfth picometers either way works let's use the bottom one just because so we'll say a meter one meter is one times ten to the twelfth picometers and now we have both our conversion factors that we need and there they are and we'll go ahead and work out the problem here 12.7 picometers which is a very small number times our conversion factor for picometers which is this one right here and so we got meters per one times ten to the twelfth picometers cancel units as you go and now we want to go from meters to centimeters and there's our conversion right there and so go 100 meters per 100 centimeters excuse me per one meter meters cancel we're left with centimeters and now we got to do is plug it into our calculator and we do that and we're going to go 12 point point seven um, times 100 divided by one exponent 12 for our times 10 to the 12th and we have equals and we get 0.000001 and we look on our calculator and we count back and we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 so it is equal to 1 times 1.27 times 10 to the minus 9th centimeters okay let me check and make sure here 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sure enough, 1.27 times 10 to the minus 9th centimeters. And there you go.